That was frustrating because of who the Fever lost to. You want to see the Fever beat the Aces, of course. But I went from really frustrated at the way the game was going to kind of, I don't want to say fulfilled with the way it ended, but you know that you didn't want to see the Fever lose the game. But it felt like they battled. And it felt like a playoff-style game. The Aces were physical again. Uh, the, the officiating was questionable again at times. But the Fever fought their way back into the game, showed they belonged on the court to the point where Christy Sides gets criticized for the end of the game, which we'll get to in just a second. But let's start at the beginning where the frustration started, and that was with Caitlin Clark picking up a technical foul for hitting the basketball stanchion. Clark, you can see her right here, frustrated, smacks the stanchion, gets the technical. Oh, my God. She's one game away from a suspension. Doesn't really matter, right, because of where the fever are in the season. Seemed a little much for the, the actual action there, which was something Clark talked about after the game when she discussed that technical foul. You hit the base of the basket. Uh, you know, the, the, the ref told you it was disrespectful. Mm -hmm. um, was just wondering if you got another explanation tonight. Well, I mean, and they're never going to overturn that. It's just one of the rules, I guess, um, of the game. So it's in the rule book. It is what it is. Um, that's why, I mean, I tried to get my last one taken away. They just didn't take it away. Um, and it stinks because I feel like at half of my technicals this year, I got one for the inadvertent contact to the face in the Minnesota game and then two for hitting the, the stanchion of the basket. So it's like one was a complete accident and then the other two were um, just a little frustration with myself. So um, I think I could have done a better job uh, keeping my emotions in, in check, but at the same time, like, really? <laughs> so I don't know. I mean, but it is a rule, so they have to call it. And I get it. It's just, it's tough. Caitlin Clark breaks the assist record in this game, which feels like an afterthought at this point, probably because it felt like a foregone conclusion. We all knew that was going to happen. But she goes into the locker room with zero points. Zero points. And if that were earlier in the year, you know the reality is coming. Comments would be coming. And I'm sure there were still people waiting to unleash with the typing and, and everything, and probably fans who were upset and wondering what's going on here. But Clark bounced back and fought through it, which, again, is a really good sign. She wound up with 14 points in the third quarter, and she started to, to make these playoff-style drives, right? We, we know what her pet moves are, but look at the speed she operates with here. And then the, the strength, using the screen from Boston to take it to the basket all the way to the right and finish. That is beautiful. That's the kind of stuff you want to see. I, I want to see consistently from Caitlin Clark. It puts the defense on its heels. She did the same thing late in the game, a little bit of a different play, but nonetheless, uh, just as effective and gets the, the fever right there uh, towards the end. You see her on the island with Jack Young, steps back to get some space, doesn't go with the screen with Boston, rejects it, goes the other way, drives by her, gets the bucket. It's a two-point game. Now, she took a bad, well, arguably bad hero ball shot um, it, it, late in the game as well. I think the Fever were down two. It would have put them up one if she had hit the three. Certainly questionable shot selection. Probably the thing she could be most justly critiqued for in this game. Um, one of those is going to go down and be a real hero moment, but she perhaps could have um, held the ball for a better shot in that specific situation. But there are a lot of moments down the stretch that cost them. Free throws cost them, right? They missed a bunch of free throws. There was one sequence where Temi Fag Benlay missed two free throws, and then on the other end, let Kelsey Plum shoot a three over her in the corner. Like, she had her arm out and everything, but you can't give her the three, make her drive the basketball. You can't let Kelsey Plum shoot the ball from the corner for three. Speaking of corner threes, late in the game, it's Aaliyah Boston. It's Aaliyah Boston, and this was the play drawn up by the Fever. There's multiple actions, by the way, on this play, so it's not just one specific thing. He is wide open. If I'm Christy Sides, I'm taking credit for that, not criticism for that. That is a good shot in this situation. I don't care what anybody says. There are other ways to criticize the coach. Um, I think she needs to get a technical in one of these games, but not for that play. I'm sorry. That was a, a well-drawn-up play. 
that worked to perfection. Aaliyah just didn't hit the shot. We know she's capable of hitting that shot. She wasn't defended. It's the shortest three. Here's the fever coach. Hi there with 30 seconds left and Aaliyah took the shot. Could you talk us through that possession and what you're looking for in that play? Yeah, you know, people know it's going to be really hard to get Caitlin a shot in those possessions. Like we want to make sure like she, you know, her, between her and Kelsey, you give them both options. Um, in that play that we ran, they had a pin and they had a um, hammer action on the weak side. And they're going to take away something. So you just have to be ready. And K AB came to me right before she said, Coach, do you want me to spread out to the to the corner three? I said, be ready because they're going to take that shooter away. And she was – it was a great shot. It rimmed in and out. I mean, that was a great shot. This girl has gone and worked really hard on that part of the game. I have a lot of confidence in her um, to take that shot. I mean, teams are going to scheme against Caitlin Clark and Kelsey Mitchell. They're going to do everything they can to make somebody else take that three. Um, so it's just on us, you know, got to find a way to, to get the ball in their hands and let them take it. But I was so okay with that wide open three by Leah Boston right there. Well, she should be. That was a correct answer from Christy Sides. People are losing their minds over nothing if they're upset about that. What you can't do is give up threes on the other end, like I said about the uh, um, one to Kelsey Plum that Timmy Feg Benley just let her shoot. And then shortly, you know, in the last minute of the game, another one, good dribble penetration from Young, kick out to uh, Plum, and, I, you know, no one's in her zip code. I mean, that can't happen. You're not going to win playoff basketball games if that's happening. And that's where the fever are headed, right? They are headed for playoff-style basketball and playoff games. And I thought this was a playoff-style game, so in that way it was a good lesson. I thought – you know, it's not like Asia Wilson went off and dominated them. It's not like the Aces ran away and hid. This was another winnable game. Fever just didn't win it. Does it matter? No. Does it suck that they couldn't beat the Aces one time in a season? Sure. But we are now moving to the playoffs. And the, the Fever are ahead of schedule, as I, I've said. And, you know, in the, the context of that situation, I would live – with that Aaliyah Boston shot every time. And, and, you know, you still got some of the highlights in this game as well. It looked like it was going to be a stinker for Caitlin Clark. Instead, she wound up perhaps putting on the best performance on the court. Uh, Kelsey Mitchell was great in the first half, but Caitlin had a, a big second half and showed she's never going to be too down to come back and fight back. And the Fever are going to fight back. They just have to tighten things up. They can't let those threes up. They got to hit their free throws. You know, the margin for error. They got to deal with the physicality. The refs um, maybe could call a, a, a better game, a more consistent game. But you do like to see the consistent effort from the Fever.